<laughs> Hi, fellow Leos. It's Mercury retrograde again. Oh, geez. So come out from underneath the bed and sit down and listen to me because this is going to be different. And I'm telling you, sit down. Most of the time, <sighs> We go through the gambit as Leos with Mercury retrograde. Sometimes we don't even know that it's Mercury and other times it's like everything we touch breaks. We lose messages, we, we break phones, you know, we end up having to check and double check and redo things because we sent emails and nobody responds, those kind of things. And it can be very frustrating. Plus we seem to end up with lots of relationships either disappearing or people from the past coming back out of the blue wanting to start over. It's kind of like too much when everything else is happening and everything else seems to be going wrong. But guess what? This time it's going to be a little bit different. The energy with Mercury retrograde and Scorpio can be kind of frightening when you first think about it. I did a, a very short video, which is an overview of this energy with the dates. I'll link it up here and it's also in the description box. But that, that is a general. How will it affect you personally? The thing that also I notice with Mercury retrograde is we end up feeling very indecisive. We suddenly don't know which is the right direction, which is the right course, where normally Leos pretty much have an idea of what they want and how to get there except during Mercury. It leaves us indecisive and it leaves us kind of doubting ourselves. And with that comes worry and anxiety. So that's why the retrogrades in the past have been tough. But guess what? This actual Mercury retrograde is going to be very different. It is going to be about wealth, luck, financial freedom, good news, magical opportunities, and anything could happen. This, this is just a completely different and very prosperous energy for us. And probably don't say that too loud because a lot of the signs are going to have really a rough time. But for a change, Leo is going to really do well. Or are you sitting down? That's unbelievable, right? So we're talking about a very lucky time for you. A time when luxury is in season. A time when basically you're going to get that promotion, you should get a raise. Yeah, it, it's going to be a very lucky time for us, so we need to make the most of it. I wouldn't recommend gambling anything that you can't afford to lose. Just, just saying. Don't, you know, take the rent money and do it. But, it, you know, a little bit here and there probably wouldn't hurt. Also, this is a time when things tend to work out in a way that we never expected. You find a lottery ticket in your front yard and it's a winner. Those kind of things. Be optimistic. Keep your head down but definitely make the most of this time. The only downside for Leo natives is becoming clear on what you actually want. This is also a time of self-reflection, trying to understand the bigger picture and what you want to bring forward into 2020. We're going to continue with this role of prosperity and abundance into 2020, of getting more and more and more opportunities given to us, which is great, but unfortunately we can't take them all. So we really need a direction. We need to decide which, which we're gonna take and which we're gonna let slide by. And if you don't have this plan in motion before you start getting these opportunities, you're more likely to maybe not pick the one that's in best in alignment with where you actually want to be. So that's the downside. Too many opportunities, right? Yeah, crazy. So you can also see where all of this would be kind of overwhelming and that could put some stress on your partnerships, your friendships, your family life because of all this new pressure trying to decide which is the best opportunity. Do you take this new job? Do you move into that new house? You know, those kind of things. So just kind of um, talk it out and be aware. If you're a single Leo native, then probably during this retrograde period, you will see the person that you were all about before that you were really hoping to start a relationship with or maybe take your relationship to the next level isn't exactly what you thought they were. And that's okay because you don't need to be building new relationships during Mercury retrograde anyway. Give it some time and say mid-December, go back and revisit it and see how you feel then. Just don't push your agenda romantically during this time. Instead, focus on making that money, focus on 
winning money, focus on <laughs> the luck that's coming your way and make the most of it because this doesn't happen very often. We are being revisited by this luck, which we haven't seen since October of 2014. So pull out your diary and look and see what was happening then. What, what was going on in October 2014? I bet it was a good time for you. Okay, let's pull a card for a little bit more clarity on what we can expect. And we're gonna go old school here with the traditional Rider Waite Tarot deck. Okay, so let me shuffle and let's see what card we will get. Hmm. This makes a lot of sense with the reading. Eight of Wands is a really interesting card because it can represent work-related travel or things taking off at a great speed. So you may find yourself going places with your career. It could be physically going places or it could just mean that it's really taking off a lot faster than you thought it would. When we look at it in relation to business, it also could mean the same thing. A new venture is taking off a lot faster than you thought it would. However, it can also be read as things are moving very quickly and we lack direction and things are taking off a lot faster than, they, than we believed that they would, but also we've got to get that sense of balance and direction or else basically flying in too many directions without a destination and therefore we're spinning our wheels in the end. So this is not a bad card at all. It just signifies, as I said, we need to get a plan in motion and not try and take advantage of every opportunity presented to us. So once again, I'm telling you, it's going to be a very good Mercury retrograde for Leos. Links to the general video so you can see what everybody else is suffering through. And shh, don't tell them how good it's going to be for us, right? <laughs> okay, I hope you found this helpful. Reiki blessings. Bye-bye.